Welcome back to another video. Today I will be reviewing all of the most popular engineering mechanics dynamics textbooks available on the market just for you guys. That includes authors like Bear, Bedford, Hibbler, Merriam, Plesha, Kasdan, Williams, and Pytel. Dynamics is arguably one of the hardest subjects to teach and learn, so getting the right textbook is essential to doing well in this class. Another game changer to doing well in this class for me was Chegg. For you guys who are new to Chegg, Chegg is this amazing education technology company that offers over 21 million textbook solutions through Chegg Study, as well as expert writing assistance through Chegg Writing. If you are a student in college, I highly recommend trying out both of these services, which you can access via my promo links in the description below. At the end of this video, I'll be making a final comparison and recommendation and hopefully you will know exactly which book you will need to ace dynamics class. The links to the Amazon pages for all of the books covered in this video are in the description below, so definitely be sure to check them out. If that sounds good, be sure to subscribe and like. Your support goes a long way and really encourages me to keep putting out videos like these. With that out of the way, let's get started. Let's start off with the fourth edition of Engineering Mechanics Dynamics by Andrew Pytel. This book is very suitable for students new to dynamics as the concepts are presented in a logical and systematic way with the perfect amount of explanation. Key formulas are also derived step by step with no details left out. This book is relatively comprehensive and includes all the core concepts that you will need to know, including introduction to dynamics, dynamics of a particle, work, energy, impulse, and momentum principles for a particle, dynamics of particle systems, planar kinematics of rigid bodies using different methods, rigid body dynamics in three dimensions, and vibrations. What I like particularly about this book are the purposeful and detailed sample problems provided at the end of each section, as well as the extensive selection of problems arranged in order of difficulty. As a bonus, this book also includes an appendix of numerical solutions to various differential equations and mass and product moments of inertia for different geometrical shapes. Solutions to even number problems are provided in the back of the book and all of the detailed solutions are available on Chegg. I recommend this book to anyone just starting out in mechanics. On to Engineering Dynamics, a comprehensive introduction by Jeremy Kasdan. This is one of the best mechanics dynamics textbooks for engineers that I have read so far. What makes this book so effective is the unorthodox approach that the author leverages and helping the reader develop a solid foundation and understand underlying principles of dynamics with an emphasis on math and physics, which is what dynamics is all about. More specifically, the author starts off by qualitatively defining dynamics concepts accompanied by basic mechanics with some problem solving before diving into more complex topics like Newtonian, Lagrangian, and Hamiltonian methods and understanding the benefits and pitfalls of each and solving motion problems. The way and strategy in which information is presented is very innovative and is what separates this book from its competitors in my opinion. Concepts the author covers include Newtonian mechanics, particle kinetics in 2D and 3D, linear and angular momentum of a particle, energy of a particle, linear and angular momentum of a multi-particle system, relative motion in a rotating frame, dynamics of a planar rigid body, and multi-particle and rigid body dynamics in 3D. I love how the author includes a separate part titled Advanced Topics to let the reader know that these may or may not be essential depending on one's learning needs. There is also a very useful appendix that summarizes all the calculus concepts that the author thinks is necessary for learning dynamics within the scope of this text. The only complaint I have is that the solutions to the problem sets are not available on Chegg. Despite of this, I strongly recommend this book to anyone wishing to master mechanics and getting a separate book whose solutions are available on Chegg. Next, let's look at Mr. Hibbler's 14th edition Engineering Mechanics Dynamics book. If you watched my review of his statics book, you know I couldn't find anything bad to say about it. The same goes for this book. It's super comprehensive, the explanations of all the concepts are exceptionally concise, and there are a plethora of unique examples per section that effectively help solidify the reader's understanding of the material. The concepts covered include kinematics of a particle, force and acceleration of a particle, work and energy 
energy of a particle, impulse and momentum of a particle, planar kinematics of a rigid body with force, energy, and momentum methods, 3D kinematics and kinetics of a rigid body, and vibrations. Because there's a huge variety of practice problems at the end of each chapter, ranging from simple to hair pulling difficulty, there will be no surprises on your midterms and finals. The detailed solutions for this book can also be found on Chegg. Overall, I really have nothing bad to say about this book and recommend it to anyone for self-study, preparing for a final, or even the fundamentals of engineering exam. Alright, on to the 12th edition of Vector Mechanics for Engineers Dynamics by Ferdinand Bayer. This text is very comprehensive and covers all the important mechanics principles in an easy to understand manner, where Bayer presents a systematic approach to problem solving and arriving at a solution. Principles covered include kinematics of a particle, kinetics of a particle with force, energy, and momentum methods, systems of particles, kinematics of rigid bodies, play motion of rigid bodies with force, energy, and momentum methods, kinetics of rigid bodies in three dimensions, and mechanical vibrations. What stood out to me about this book are the real world case studies that are provided in each chapter to provide relevancy and application to the principles of engineering mechanics, such as historical successes and failures of past designs. Additionally, this book includes an abundance of sample problems, a section titled Solving Problems on Your Own, and practice problems arranged in order of increasing difficulty. All solutions are also on Chegg. I definitely recommend this to anyone looking for a clear and succinct mechanics textbook that delivers results. Next up is the 8th edition of Engineering Mechanics Dynamics by my homie James Merriam. Concepts covered include particle kinematics and kinetics with force, energy, and momentum methods, plane kinetics and kinematics of rigid bodies, three-dimensional dynamics of rigid bodies, and vibrations of time response. What I liked about this book are the diagrams and illustrations, the speed at which concepts are introduced, and the appendix of important math topics in the back of the book. However, the cons are that there aren't a lot of example problems and the author seems to skip a lot of steps with little explanation. Again, there are a good amount of practice problems in this book, but they are a lot harder than the examples. However, answers are provided in the back and the full-blown solutions for this book are available on Chegg. If you are just starting out in mechanics, I don't recommend this book as it is disorganized and example problems are lacking in quality and explanation. On the other hand, if you already have an understanding of mechanics and are just looking to brush up on concepts or extra problems to do, this book might be for you. Moving on to the second edition of Engineering Mechanics Dynamics by Michael Plesha. This book covers your standard mechanics topics, including particle kinematics, force, energy, and momentum methods for particles, planar rigid body kinematics, Newton-Euler equations for planar rigid body motion, energy and momentum methods for rigid bodies, mechanical vibrations, and three-dimensional dynamics of rigid bodies. I really hate to say this, but this book may be one of the most disorganized and poorly written texts I've read. Don't get me wrong, the author is a genius, but virtually all of the equations in this book are left unexplained, and the author presents information in an illogical way that makes learning dynamics, which is a very challenging subject nearly impossible. This book assumes the reader is a subject matter expert at mechanics already. What's even more surprising is that the book only provides an answer key to even number problems and many of them are incorrect. However, the solutions are available on Chegg if you are one of the unlucky students who is forced to use this textbook for mechanics class. I vehemently recommend everyone to avoid this book at all costs. Next on the list is the fifth edition of Engineering Mechanics Dynamics by my man Anthony Bedford. This is overall a good book for learning dynamics as a beginner and includes all of the fundamental dynamics topics such as motion of a point, force, energy, and momentum methods, planar kinematics and dynamics of rigid bodies, energy and momentum in rigid bodies, 3D kinematics and dynamics of rigid bodies, and vibrations. What I like specifically about this book are the concise chapters, colorful illustrations, and example problems provided in each section that demonstrate the application of key concepts. This book contains a lot of practice problems that can be somewhat challenging and overwhelming, but overall are great problems that will help you develop a deeper understanding of the material and excel in your midterms and finals. A handful of the answers in the back of this book are wrong, but the bright side is that the step-by-step -step solutions to all of the problems are offered on Chegg. I recommend this book for anyone new to mechanics. Up next is The Fundamentals of Applied Dynamics by James Williams. 
Williams Jr. Now this book also takes a bit of an unorthodox approach to teaching dynamics, but nevertheless is a very effective approach. This introductory textbook interestingly presents engineering mechanics as a unified field, emphasizing dynamics while integrating topics from other disciplines, including humanities and design. The book begins with a history of mechanics, which is suitable for an undergraduate overview. Subsequent chapters cover such topics, including three-dimensional kinematics, the direct approach, also known as vectorial mechanics, or the momentum approach. The indirect approach, also called Lagrangian dynamics or variational dynamics, an expansion of the momentum and Lagrangian formulations to extended bodies, lump parameter electrical and electromagnetic devices, and equations of motion for 1D continuum models. This book is noteworthy in covering both Lagrangian dynamics and vibration analysis. The principles covered are relatively few and easy to articulate. The examples are rich and broad. Summary tables, often in the form of flowcharts, appear throughout. End of chapter problems begin at an elementary level and become increasingly difficult, which is really nice. The appendixes in the back of the book provide theoretical and mathematical support for the main text. Unfortunately, the solutions to practice problems are not available on Chegg, but there is, however, a solutions manual available for purchase. If you are passionate about learning and mastering dynamics, I highly recommend getting this book. Last but not least is the seventh edition of the Schramm's Outline of Engineering Mechanics Dynamics. Now, this is not a textbook, but rather a supplement to your textbook. This is a perfect resource for you if you're the type of student who likes to cram two days before an exam or hates reading textbooks and is in need of a Sparknotes type of summary. Topics covered include vectors, particle kinematics, particle dynamics, kinematics and dynamics of a rigid body and planar motion, work, energy, impulse and momentum methods, and mechanical vibrations. The hallmark of this book is that it has a whopping 729 full solve exercises, hundreds of examples, 25 problem solving videos online, and even one final practice exam. I definitely recommend this highly affordable book if you are enrolled in a dynamics course or are interested in learning mechanics. Now, which of these is the best and worst book for someone trying to learn and master dynamics? At the top of my list is Mr. Hibbler's 14th edition Engineering Mechanics Dynamics book. I can't say anything bad about this book because it delivers on all fronts, from the quality example problems and illustrations to the clear, concise explanations and practice problems. If you are new to dynamics, you cannot go wrong with this book. My second favorite is a tie between Jeremy Kasdan's and James William Jr.'s Dynamics textbooks. Their unconventional approach to teaching the material effectively and dumbing down complex dynamics concepts is unparalleled. If it wasn't for the fact that the solutions to practice problems in these books are not available on Chegg, they would definitely be on par with Mr. Hibbler's dynamics book. Tied at number three is Andrew Pytel's and Ferdinand Baer's engineering dynamics books. Both of these authors present the material in a systematic way that is easy to understand for beginner students without leaving out any important steps or explanations. The amount of practice problems are also adequate and are centered around the readers to successfully build a good problem-solving mindset and intuition. Ranked at number four is Anthony Bedford's fifth edition book. Overall, this is not a bad book to learn dynamics by any stretch of the imagination, but it would not be my first choice just because Hibbler, Kasdan, and William's books are too good. But don't get me wrong, the explanations in this book are clear cut, the illustrations are very good, and it includes a huge selection of problems with increasing levels of difficulty. That's why it's still on my recommended list. Now moving on to the bottom of my list, my least favorites include the second edition of Michael Plesha's and eighth edition of James Merriam's Engineering Mechanics Dynamics textbooks. Both authors assume that the reader is already well versed in mechanics and thus have omitted a good chunk of details and examples problems and formulas. Information is presented in an illogical way and the entire framework is very disorganized. Lastly, no matter which textbook you end up selecting, definitely consider getting the 7th edition of Schwamm's Outline of Engineering Mechanics Dynamics for finals week. Hopefully this review can help you in your quest to find the right engineering mechanics textbook. Remember that this is just my honest opinion. So just because I didn't find a book appealing, doesn't mean it can't work out for you. So let me know in the comments below what's your favorite mechanics textbook. That's all I got for you guys today. As always, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you enjoyed this video. 
And don't forget to check out all the Amazon links in the description below. See you guys in the next one. Peace.